Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to, to episodes three and four of Masaru. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Yeah. Oh. Please and thank you. Give me a sec, guys. Aww. You look so pretty. <laughs> One sec, okay? I know this is so freaking random and awkward. Oh my god. <laughs> Give me a sec. There we go. Sorry. What do you mean? Now, I wonder how the hell Mash is going to do this. Well, we're going to find out today. smart.
nice to meet you, Lloyd. <laughs> no match. Why does everybody want to message me while I'm recording? First my, uh, like, first Snapchat, now TikTok. What is with y'all? Can I record? I have you on Do Not Disturb, but some of y'all message me sick. I love you, though. Jesus. Oh, oh, am I? Because he's a jerk and a bully. Apparently not. Those are good. Oh, Mash. You are. Didn't want to see you, duh. Damn. Mash, if you only knew you were being tricked, babe. Mm. Baby, you being an errand boy.
You're not going to have him. And you are, even with everything that happened. Oh, honey. Uh, no, <laughs> we we really don't give a f about that. Oh, oh! <laughs> so. Well, yeah, it definitely is, but I mean, you did it for Finn, so you shouldn't get in trouble. But he started it, though. Not Mash. Sir oh my god, that's such bullshit.
unfortunately, as we know. <laughs> no. Yeah, those are big no no's, Mash. Okay. What's up? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is what? Not what roommate? Oh, Finn. Hooray! <laughs> Nice to meet you, Tom. <laughs> ah! Oh, God. Okay, so, like, basically quidditch in a nutshell? Well, I mean, that was just one thing. This isn't gonna end well. Right? Yeah, this is just Quidditch, except there's no rings and ish. <laughs> right? Oh, never mind. There's diamonds, so yeah, technically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh no. Go home, baby. Go home. How is he gonna fly? <laughs> I mean, you know, he, he was able to get through it with, you know, the first little bit in the match, but like that. No. <laughs> the fact that he punched the shit out of Lloyd and the teacher, too, like, damn. Jesus. Like, <laughs> Are you serious, bro? Like, ooh, damn. <laughs> but the fact is that, you know, Lloyd was the one who was forcing Finn to do everything is truly messed up because because there was a moment where I was like, what if it is him? Especially every single time he looked away when Maj was looking at him and such. So be like, hmm. But he's precious, baby. We, we just, we forgive that. It's okay. It's not his fault. He was tempted. He was bullied into this in the situation. <laughs> it seriously makes me want some cream puffs. Like, oh my god! I just uh, the last thing I just had was Doritos, and I was just like, Ugh, I want these. I'm hungry. But. I was not expecting that and then the long conversation literally having their headmaster like talk to Maj and be like yeah you know why you in trouble oh cause I made this in the kitchen no they're like we need to talk about this like oh my god but no he, he I love the fact that he's just like letting him off and he's like okay to to let him off he's like okay this is what I'm going to do and such but my thing is what if we get to a point where Mash has, like, gotten in trouble where it's extremely bad and he's not going to be able to, you know, let him off with an excuse and a warning and everything. But, um, once again, also collecting the coins, like I said last week, that does give feels once again to Harry Potter. It also gives feels to Spy Family, um, especially with, you know, Anya coll collecting the Stellas and such. So, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. But poor baby, like, to be asked to help them in a match for quote-unquote Quidditch, and he, he just stand there looking up and like, hey, yo, I can't fly. I've literally told y'all, like, a gazillion times, but now we're here, and I still can't fly. What do you want me to do? What the heck do you want from me? <laughs> poor baby. You just fell for him. But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode four. Alrighty, episode four and three, two, one, go. But he can't fly.
the match rigged. I know. Mm -hmm. But remember, he also told you that he doesn't, he can't fly. He literally said it several times, but you didn't listen. Yes, sir. But he can't fly. Really, anybody cares about that? Jesus Christ. I mean, it ain't bring no sound barriers like you know when you're throwing stuff, but. <laughs> he just threw it like a boomerang. Oh my god. <laughs>
<gasps> Yay! I mean, why, why are you so mad? Oh, okay, never mind. You're happy. You've been like, mm, sleeping you on your own. Hello, what? Oh my god, look at him! Ah! Yes, please. Oh. Oh. Like, top tier number one hottie. I mean, imagine good looking too. We already talked about it in the first two episodes, but. Definitely, but he is hot. <laughs> figured something like this would definitely come into play because I like ever since the first episode I had questioned about this with the lines and shit. Let's not and say we did.
Holy shit. Oh my. Well. <laughs> Define. Okay, right now. Because what's currently happening? Not really okay. What is it? Oh. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, sir. Okay, thank God. Oh, no. so hot. We, we just take out the sister complex. Mm. Okay, then what is it then? babe to you that's not to me if you would have told me on my bingo card that you know kaito whatever his last name is was playing a character with a sister complex probably would have looked at you like you were nuts because like never would have thought that but okay <laughs>
What happened? I think he's already down there. Uh, oh, never mind. He's getting ready to die. <laughs> No, it's just that good stamina, though. Right? You're just a good guy who cares for his sister and who wants to help her. And if you become friends with him, he can help you. Just like that? Alright. You probably would have lost. I mean, because, baby, you have no magic. <laughs> oh, Finn! he opened it. Now, okay, was not expecting Sixter Complex with Lance, because, like, when you look at him, you're like, yeah, like, cold, dark, brooding, mm -hmm. My weakness, yes. But no, okay, if he really teams up with Mash, like, I really think that he could help his sister. Like, I do feel bad for him, because, yes, sister gets sick, and they have only really five years before her mark is gone. And once her mark is gone, they have to throw her out for the government and stuff. Because, you know, hey, that's what the government says. You know, you ain't got no magic. You kind of really worthless in this world. Which is still highly fucked up. Um, but I love the fact that he's just over here like, 
I'm doing this for my sister. All I care about is for my sister. They, I mean, because it, it is a little woo, because I was not expecting that, but okay. You do what you gotta do. Um, his little Quidditch match, fucking hilarious. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't. I can't. I love it, though. It's so good. <laughs> oh, God. But something tells me we're gonna get into the really, like, meat and juices, like, of the story very soon, possibly. I don't know. If we don't get into it in, like, the first half, probably the second half of the show, leading into season two. But, like I said, four episodes in, and I really love this. Like, this is freaking good. But something also tells me that Lance, every single time he's gonna be around MASH, is gonna be like, hey, yo, let's continue where we stopped off, left off yesterday, or the day before, the day before, the day before that. It was like, but homeboy is just always gonna want to fight like twenty four seven. Be like, hey yo, we're like, can you calm your behind down? Like, just sit down, sit over there. I, I love you, but just sit your ass down. Just become friendly with him, and then yeah, on a regular basis, go ahead and do a little like tit for tat match, and then go from there. And then still help your little sister at the end of the day because I want a good happy ending for your little sister. I don't want anything ha bad to happen to her. I don't want her to you know be thrown out into the street. <laughs> her being hopeless and stuff. I don't want that. She's a baby. Protect the baby. That's all I gotta say about that. But other than that, guys, that is my action view towards episodes three and four of Mashada. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join Mashada Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episodes five and six. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.